Hi, I'm Cynthia. And I'm Chris. And we're the Hanye family. And for those of you who are new here, welcome. Let's enjoy some great music together. Yeah, so what do we got today for our Goonies? Well, today we're going to do our Canadian content, and it is Christmas Eve. Yeah. So we are going to do a Christmas Canadian content. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we've decided that we're going to do a little bit of Lawrence Gowan. Yeah, we know who Gowan is. <laughs> we do know who Gowan is. Uh, he went by Gowan in the 80s. Yeah. And we really enjoyed his music because it was really different. Mm-hmm. And, um, well, he joined Styx sometime in the, was it the 90s or 2000s? I, th- I think it was the 90s. Was it? I think. Yeah. Maybe it was earlier. Anyway, I don't know. He did join Styx for a while. He was a piano player, took the place of Dennis DeYoung. And um, he's still doing, you know, back and forth things. He did a song with Maestro once. I think we, we didn't cover that. No, we didn't. No. We knew that song, so. Uh, but yeah, he was, he did a song with Maestro once, um, and he's been doing his own solo stuff. And uh, this is later on, this is like about three years ago, something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. And, um, this is a band that he was hanging out with for this one stuck on planet earth. So all right, it's an interesting idea. It's called, uh, can you make it feel like Christmas? It's all done in the studio. So that's going to be kind of fun. Well, for me anyway, I don't know. Yeah. And uh, we should get into it. All right. Yeah. This is Gowan, or Lawrence Gowan, and Stuck on Planet Earth with Can You Make It Feel Like Christmas? Drummer's always in the back. The chorus has this section. And on four. Open them a bit more, like you did. To real. There's a great conspiracy going round And old invaders coming back to your town Children spying for a slave to appear Flying right behind a red-nosed reindeer so weird how they just ramped that up so quick all of a sudden yeah that's going to be an interesting part well, it looks like they're going to do hark the herald angel hark the herald angel sing yeah it looks like maybe i find this is an interesting one because it's basically talking about how the commercialism of christmas is not what it's what's important you know what i mean oh yeah a lot of people like to do that 
Yeah, it's really good the way that they're doing it, though, I enjoy. Mm. You know what I mean? It's just kind of, it's not too in your face, but it's saying things like, you know, there's more important things than the corporation that's going to try and sell you their toys kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's kind of cool, though. Yeah, I enjoy this. It sounds really good. I like the way that they put it together. It's not like the beat count seems a little different than I was expecting. It's not your basic. Mm. I didn't actually count the beats. I can just feel that it's a little different than usual. Yeah, it flows like, nicely. Than the usual. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's pretty interesting. It's uh, it's very well done. I do like that it's in the studio. Yeah. That's it old old microphone oh yeah. oh yeah but a lot of the time the old microphones are really really good right yeah they have kind of a, a sound yeah you know? and i think he's such an interesting character he always was sorry but as an older man he looks very eccentric that's a good word for yeah, what he well, looks like. he was eccentric well before he was old so <laughs> yeah but i mean he looks really good this way yeah yeah you know no it suits him for sure some people age so well, and I think this is one of them. <laughs> yeah. He's, yeah. He's quite good at what he does. He, he's always been a little bit different. Uh, I wish he would have gotten a little more recognition. He's quite good. Oh, and his tone is still really nice. Yeah. yeah I his, like his it. His vocals haven't really changed much at all that I yeah, can Yeah. I really like it. Mm. We should continue. All right. so nice silliness yes but i mean what a good song it was so well done it was very nice you know yeah and the tone of it it's it was almost cheery but it had that other side to it and it was because it was talking about how the capitalist side of it wasn't what's important you know yeah no that makes sense there's been a few songs that we've done there's that kind of thing so yeah because well as you get older you realize that this whole commercialism thing is kind of awful it is you know what i mean As absolutely you, but i mean at the same time it's just it depends how you do things if you let the commercial side take over all of christmas then it's no good it's not fun anymore yeah then it's just all about getting stuff right I mean. whereas like we had a ton of people at my sister's yesterday mm. and i brought gifts for the baby and i brought gifts for my little great nephew who's only four Mm -hmm. But the next youngest was 12 years old and the, mostly everybody was adults there. So I brought most of the families just a box of cookies I made. Yeah. You know? Really good cookies. <laughs> but I mean, that's what I do for the adults because they understand it costs too much money to go shopping for everybody. Yeah. You know, there's 30 people in the house. What are you going to do? Shop for everybody? That's mm. a lot. No. You know? No, you you couldn't possibly, right? I mean, you don't want to put your family into that kind of situation where they have to do that. That's no. that's nonsense. So what we do is we generally the adults don't get each other a bunch of gifts or anything. Um, if we get something for each other, it's very small, or we'll do homemade gifts. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's more about spending time with each other catching up on life that kind of stuff hmm. that's what we do when we get together at my sister's sorry the triptych fan is kicking in <laughs> chris is quite tired now <laughs> that's okay but this was a lot of fun i hope you guys enjoyed it as well huh mm, it was fun it was fun. yeah i like i like larry gowan's work I always did yeah so. I don't know who the other guys were that were working with them, but they're good too. Well, I we can definitely look them up now enjoyed that we know who it. They are, right? Yeah, it was very good. Mm. The whole feel of it was fantastic. Yeah, 
Well, maybe we can add them to our Canadian content. Yeah, it's possible because we've never heard of that band before. So, yeah. yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please don't forget to check us out over on Patreon. It's $3 a month and we're adding things there all the time. Also, please like and subscribe to the channel. Share with your family and friends. Click that notification bell if you don't want to miss a video. And don't forget to enjoy yourself. Later. Later.